Welcome to the Lynn Miller Room in this edition of the Eagles Sports Coaches Show. Rob Tenure has joined us now, and Coach, had a week off. Refresh those batteries and get ready to hit the field for the last uh, half of the season. Yeah, I think the uh, break came at a perfect time for us, halfway point of the season, and uh, it was in conjunction with fall break. So uh, we're able to give our guys a little bit of time off and uh, gave the coaches a few days off as well. Um, we approached uh, our off week a little differently. Uh, you know, I've been been in college football now for almost 19 years, and everywhere I've been, it's it's been a little different. So, uh, but instead of really uh, just kind of going back and, and and working technique and fundamentals, we just tried to progress from where we were at, and uh, we we took a couple extra days uh, of our off week to to kind of get a head start on Valparaiso, and and uh, so we practiced Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Gave the guys off Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Came back Sunday, had another extra day, uh, and then moving forward, we're going to treat it as a normal week. So uh, they were a little refreshed, and we ran them pretty good on Sunday and, and uh, ready to go. Coach, you know, you're 2 and 1 in the PFL, best league start since 2007. After the early start that uh, a lot of people, you know, didn't know how to look at this young team with only six seniors, you have to be happy with the way your team has progressed in the PFL. You're exactly right. And, and the important part to that is, is how we've progressed. And, uh, you know, I look at it like this. I, I compare it uh, to our last two opponents and uh, with Campbell and, and Davidson. Uh, and, and those two programs have gone through similar – transitions and so uh, for us to be sitting two and one in the conference uh, going in an open week coming off a win uh, and then having four of your last six contests at home as well uh, I'm, I'm real excited and uh, I think we've made strides on both sides of the football uh, uh, you know during the first half of our, our contest and uh, and also in this in the kicking game as well so um, I'm excited to get back out and start playing again, and hopefully we're not too rusty. You've had a week to look at the tape. Uh, give us your early scouting report on Valparaiso. Well, they're a team that, that plays, uh, plays very uh, physical football, uh, and they've always been that type of team. They give great effort, um, and I feel like they've made a lot of progress with, within their program. I think that they're, uh, they're more stable on both sides of the football. You can tell offensively that – uh, you know, they're able to run the football and throw the football. They get the ball out quick. Uh, and defensively, it doesn't seem like they're doing as much. They're just trying to, to play some base sets and, and uh, doing a little bit of disguising with their coverages and things. But, uh, but just trying to, to let their guys play, line up and play, and, and understand the, the schematics. Brownfield is the site of this week's game, 2 o'clock Eastern time. 1 o'clock Central time will be the kickoff airtime on the ES, ESN at 125. Rob, we'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Jay. Rob Tanger, football coach here at Moorhead State University. We'll come back with more. This is the Eagle Sports Coaches Show.